Hello and welcome to this presentation of uh, FileMaker to Sage. My name is Aaron Martirosian and I'm going to run you through how to uh, integrate your FileMaker solutions into Sage. So who are Red IT? Well we were formed back in 99. Uh, we have an international client base and we're both a Sage Platinum development partner, business partner, as well as a FileMaker FBA and SBA member. And if you cut us we bleed green. So we focus on 50, 200, 500, 1000 CRM, pretty much all of the main key UK accounting applications. So what are the uh, problems with the standard Sage imports? Well, you can't automate any of them. They don't cover any of the day-to-day -day transactions and they're mainly for master records, things like uh, customers and suppliers and uh, products. Also, you can only ever import into one Sage company at a time, whereas with FileMaker, and FileMaker to Sage, we can automate that and import into multiple companies simultaneously. FileMaker to Sage covers all of the basic day-to-day -day transactions, over 35 of them at the moment, and uh, you get access to a fully unlocked FMP12 file with a uh, free 30-day trial and uh, free reseller training and consultancy to get your application integrated into Sage. So as far as the ecosystem is concerned, there are two elements to it. The bit that we're going to cover is on the left hand side today and it's going to be the FileMaker to Sage element whereby we're going to import stuff from FileMaker whether it's hosted or local into the Sage application. There's a separate video which shows our Sage Universal Web API which allows us to import data into Sage using the uh, Data API uh, um, layer and or Claris Connect. So what do you have to do to set up FileMaker to Sage? Well, first thing you need to do is make sure Sage is working and then download FileMaker to Sage, which is a free trial from our Red IT website. Having done that, you can just do a standard install and start testing. So let's have a look at this in action. So FileMaker to Sage is in effect one click integration to Sage. So all you ever need is one table and one script per import. So in our case, we're going to look at customers, products, sales orders, purchase orders. And within the applications, there's something called the log file. And the log file will then automatically give you the details of the Sage generated IDs as well as your FileMaker IDs. So let's have a look at this in action. So over here, I've just got bog standard Sage. And here's the FileMaker to Sage application. Uh, that's the unlocked uh, app that you're going to be using. And there are instructions in terms of how you need to set this up. But Essentially, you set up Sage, you set up Excel to Sage, and then you have one folder called FM to Sage, which has that FM application in it, which is what we're looking at. It's a very small application. So let's just dive straight in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import some customers. So if I go to the customer table, here's the customer table, and these are all the columns that we have access to for import of a customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset that and you can see the status has become blank. And all I do is just press import and what that will do is it'll then go and import that into Sage and it will then also update the log file so it can show us what has happened. So that's that. So if I go to the log file and I can see there was uh, customers were imported. It was successful and these were the records that were created. Very simple. So let's delete that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import products exactly the same. So I go to the product table, I'll reset that to reset the status and just import that and off it goes. That's now imported all of those things into Sage uh, and uh, then uh, we'll then update the log file. If I now go to the log file and there we are. So there's success of product imports and so on. So those were what I call master records things like custom records and product records. So let's go and do something a bit more meaty. So from your FileMaker solution, you're likely to want to import sales orders. So here's the sales orders. And what I'm looking at here are a two line sales order followed by another two line sales order. And the way I know that uh, this will be imported into Sage is that there's a field called take and buy. And that will then give me FileMaker to Sage as the person who imported it. So again, what I'll do is I'll just go and import that. And that's now created as sales two sales orders into in sage and it's now updating the log file and the log file will then tell me what the ids were so if i go to the log file there we go so the sales order was successfully imported my file maker id was 1003 which was in the table and my sage id was 1005 so let's go and have a look at that so if i go to sales orders just refresh that there you go file maker to sage and if i open that up I can then see board one and board two, 
one at 50 pounds and two at 10 pounds and that's what was in the table and that was a second sales order again this one was for services really simple uh, and the other thing that you might want to do is again let me delete that we'll go and do some purchase orders for example so if I go to purchase orders again I'll reset the status I'll import that purchase orders have now been imported into Sage so let's go and find out what the IDs are give it a chance to import the log file there it is and if I go and have a look at the log file I can see purchase orders were successfully imported my ID in FileMaker was 2002 and the Sage ID was 52 so if I go into here go to purchase orders refresh that there you go 51 and 52 and if I open that up there you go board one and board two I ordered one of those and two of those at 100 pounds and 55 which was what was in my file maker table so it really couldn't be any easier one table and one script so we've already had a look at the tables so for example the purchase order table uh, looked like that with all these columns in it so what does the script look like so if I go into the script workspace and look at purchase orders there you go there's the purchase order script very simple it goes to the table it does some finds it runs a command for the import and it then goes into the log file and imports those in for us to have a look at really simple so you have a choice so you can either use the FMP12 that we supply or you can just copy the single script and the single table into your own application and then just call the routines from there so what are the benefits of FileMaker to Sage well there's no need to understand Sage at all it's very quick and cost effective and uh, prices start from 850 plus VAT per annum it's easy to use and set up and there are various different add-ons so it's very easy to enhance the core functionality and to give the Sage users something they just cannot get with the uh, Sage application itself it makes processing a lot more efficient and there are obviously no data entry errors because everything is going from FileMaker directly into Sage thank you very much for your time and interest in FileMaker to Sage please feel free to contact me via email or phone uh, to arrange for your free trial and uh, your free training thank you